Hello again. All right, we'll use this uh, image here of some old growth forest in Oregon to talk about two more items that I want to make you aware of. And they reside up here on the drop down menu of image. First one we'll discuss is this image size. So we'll scroll down to it, click on it, it'll bring up this dialog box here. And here is how we resize an image. So we might save out a master file, fine, it's never been resized, but now you're trying to resize, let's say for uh, printing a photograph, and let's just pretend we want to print a 20 by 30. How might we go about and do that? Well, if you can think in terms of pixels, you might be able to do it this way. I never can. I always think in terms of inches. And if I constrain my proportions, for some reason I always click on scale styles too. Scale styles also. Anyway, what, if you have this clicked on, all you have to do is type in one proportion and the other one will automatically um, fill in appropriately. So my width, if it were 20, I would have a height of 30. I usually print at 300 uh, pixels per inch, so that's fine. If we take a look up here, I'll notice that I'm going from a 95 uh, megabyte file up to a 309 megabyte file. I am enlarging, I'm up -resing. When we up -res, we want to make a selection down here. We're going to do the bicubic smoother algorithm, which is best for enlargement. So we'd click on that. Now we've prepared everything here for up -resing, for going to a larger image, 20 by 30. We're uh, constraining our proportions, and we're choosing the best for enlargement. At this point in time, I can simply click OK, and I will. And the image resizes. I can come across the top now since I'm in my zoom tool, and let's take a look at it at print size. I can hit the tab button on my keyboard, and I can use my grabber hand to more or less move it in, in place. And there's the image, sized up to a 20 by 30. I can Control and Z to undo the resize, hit the Tab key to bring back in my um, side, side options, and then I can right click to have it fit back on screen. Let's go back up here to Image, click on it, drop down to Image, image Size. If I decided that I wanted to print a 4 by 6, so let's go ahead and do that. The width will be 4. Automatically, the height is 6. I'm now going to a much smaller file size. It originally was 95 megabytes, down to 12 megabytes. I want to use Bicubic Sharper, best for reduction. Everything is the way we want it to be here. I click on OK. Let's go to Print Size, and there we have it. Let's control Z to undo that. Let's come back up one more time to image size. And I often will send out images to web designers, and they want something that is typically on the long side 15 uh, pixel, 1,500 pixels. So here's where I do that. I'd say, all right, well, long side is 1,500 pixels. It's that simple. I don't really care what happens down here now but I am going to a much smaller size file, so I do care about making it bicubic sharper. Once again, click OK. And now we can click Print Size. Oh, there we are. Or we can go to Actual Pixels. And now we can email them this file, and it's going to be sized the way they want it. That simple. We'll Control Z to undo that. We'll have it fit back on screen. The last thing we want to talk about over here is this image rotation. Pretty intuitive, the 180, we'll flip it upside down. We can rotate it right, clockwise 90 degrees, or left, counterclockwise 90 degrees. This arbitrary one is very useful. Let's go ahead and click on it, and we can now designate the precise angle or fraction of an angle. One would be one degree. Point 0.2 would be a very slight ang rotation. And we can choose whether we want it to rotate to the right clockwise or counterclockwise. 
So let's say I thought this tree was perfectly up and upright. I could say, oh, let's maybe rotate that uh, 0.4 degrees clockwise. I click on OK. And in a moment, we'll have this rotation. Now it's a lot more close to being upright. I do have a problem here. I need to do a little cropping to prepare my image properly. So I click on the Crop tool, C for the Crop tool. And to keep my proportions the same, I'm going to hold the Shift key as I push in just a little bit to get rid of the white showing. There we go, we've made the crop. Now I can hit the Enter button or this little check up here. We'll click on the check button. Now I've prepared this image and leveled it out, straightened it up. That is a look at the two things we wanted to talk about here. Image, drop down to image size or image rotation. Two very useful features for us as landscape photographers. See you next time.